A wooden boy loves his dad and his drugs. Welcome to the Walt Vault with Michelle, Andre, Louise, and me, Emily. We're a family-friendly podcast where we pick a new Disney movie each week. We watch it, share our thoughts, and then relate it to pop culture, fandoms, and anything else that pops into our heads. Enjoy! Hello and welcome to The Wall Vault, episode 77. Wow. 77. 77. Seven. Uh, this episode is brought to you by you guys. Thank you for listening. Oh, I thought you were going to say it was brought to you by Sunshine Donuts. <laughs> that too. That's Not true. sponsored, but we're yeah. eating donuts, y'all. We are having a morning donuts, morning recording. Uh, you ready for a slow and slow talk. <laughs> low and slow. <laughs> Just the way I like it. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, these donuts are delicious. Thank you for bringing Of course. Mm, deliciousness. This right. week, we are talking about the 1940 animated film. I got those rings on. Oh, down <laughs> oh God. I make me oh, dear. That's what he sounds like. Pinocchio. Pinocchio. Let's just start right now by saying that this entire podcast has been me uh, listening to Michelle say over and 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 over avoiding pinocchio over and over and over and then she walks in my house right now and is like i'm mad because i liked it i am mad because i liked it because i hated on it and i hated on it and i told everybody like pinocchio's the worst movie ever and now i'm trying to think about the last time that i watched it so i definitely watched it a couple times as a kid and i remember liking it as a kid and I watched it one time in high school and was like, this is the worst movie ever. So I must have just been a moody teenager and was like, yeah, Pinocchio sucks. I don't know. But is the movie good? Yes. I'm pretty sure we watched like a remastered version. So like the colors looked like nice and crisp yeah. and wonderful. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I guess my first impression upon this watching is that I was wrong. It's a good movie. <laughs> Michelle was wrong. Hey, at least I impression. <laughs> Andre, first impression. Um, I have always championed the uh, Pinocchio. I like it. I liked it. I still like it. Uh, it was good upon this viewing. Um, it's like a really old movie, obviously. So I don't. <laughs> a little. I don't know. Nineteen forty is old. I don't what? know how old I was when I first watched it, but there were definitely some like little kid memories popping oh up my gosh, in my too. head while I was watching this. Mm-hmm. When I was seeing Cleo, I was like, why well, I wanted a gold <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Yes. Like, that's what I remember. I told Andre, I was like, oh, that's gold right there. Yeah. There's one point where, uh, like, Handsome, is it Handsome John? Is that his Honest. Name? Honest John. Handsome. I don't know why I keep calling him Handsome. He's not. <laughs> uh, there's one point where Honest John is in, like, a bar with his buddy, his little henchman dude. And the little henchman dude is like smoking a cigar, <laughs> which is real funny. Uh, Disney smoking stuff. Um, <laughs> but he like he like blows a smoke ring and then grabs the smoke ring like as a donut and yes, dips it I like in his that. drink. And I was like, "Yo, mm-hmm. I have never wanted to do something so cool." Oh, I thought and you now we have I remembered donuts. that as a kid because I remember yes, that as a kid, absolutely. even though I did not remember that. So like I don't to... remember them being in a bar, but I remember the donut. Right, in the, the donut in the smoke. drink. Yeah. Uh, and so, now we're eating. Donuts. So now I'm trying to dip this donut in this coffee. It's the donut's too big. <laughs> oh my gosh probably yeah, better alas. than a smoke donut in <laughs> beer or whatever it was he was yeah. drinking didn't em- seem very tasty it was a good movie man Emily first impression it was a movie it was it it was on film <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> um it was very different than I remember it even though I think I only watched it like maybe five or six years ago there was a lot I didn't remember um I have my issues but I feel like a lot of the issues are time period issues that we're not going to ever be able to fix because of when it was made. Oh, yeah. So we just got to get over it. But my problem is that there isn't one good person in this movie. Don't try to tell me. I got my issues with him, too. (laughs) Don't you tell me that Jiminy Cricket is a conscious. He's the worst conscious ever. Oh, Uh, yeah. He's terrible. You know, he got this job by the seat of his pants. and Which I don't remember. I thought he was like a good cricket like running around. Well, and I didn't remember that either. When he came out homeless, I was like, yeah, homeless cricket. Yeah, I was like, I don't remember this outfit. This is is, is my gripe with Jiminy. (laughs) Poor dude. Where's your coattails at, If y'all didn't tell me he was a cricket, I would have no idea he's a cricket. Yes. He oh, doesn't no. look he like a cricket, cricket at all. And that is exactly what the animators said. Like, I was watching a behind-the-scenes thing, and they, they 
initially they were drawing him like as a cricket and then walt was like nah make it cuter 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 they're like okay no antenna no extra legs no mm, no cricket stuff aren't cute. yeah <laughs> i put he him in a full suit like a, like a bug at that point like yeah. i don't even, even know what he was buggy, though he was just, just like, a little, like a little person a little, little bald person. Uh, yes. yeah i don't know he wasn't a cricket though no i've seen a cricket i've seen a bug's life i mean that's grass but they're related yeah. Yeah. they're pretty much the same thing yeah Hopper, mm. no, don't say that word. Uh, Jimmy Cricket is Hopper's like grandpa or something like that. No, I just finished. <laughs> I just finished watching Stranger Things. You can't be using oh, the word Hopper dude, in Hopper. front of me, okay? Yeah, different Hopper. He's um, not dead. Calm oh. down. <laughs> no spoilers. Anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> so Pinocchio. Um, just some base stuff about it. It was directed by Norman Ferguson. It was written by Carlo Collodi, and it's old. It stars a bunch of actors you don't. No, <laughs> because it, it happened years and years and years ago. And this was Disney's second animated feature right after Snow White. And I w- would say that I think it's. I, oops. You know, what's it. really funny, I though, concur. that you say that is that I just watched Snow White this week because again, I did okay. because I'm trying to get Adeline to watch the Disney movies so that she at least like. Knows, knows what they stuff. are, yeah. yeah. So she's not just like she's old enough that now. Thing yeah. over there, right? So we watched it, and so we started watching Snow White so that Addie like knows who the characters are. And surprisingly, rewatching it now, I like it more than when we watched it for the podcast. Oh. Which I wonder if it's because like I'm watching these movies through kid eyes when I watch them with her versus yeah. just me sitting on the couch being, being like, critic. Snow White, girl, yeah. you are no Also, I will say that like movies upon the first watching that I hated, once I watch them more and more and more, then I like them. Right. My number one example is the movie Elf. First time I saw it, I absolutely hated that Which movie. Which one is that? With Will Ferrell, where he's oh, a where he's, elf. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did not like it. I, I watched it once. I absolutely hated it. And that it took me like great. 10 watchings to be like, this movie's legit. Like, so I, I need to rewatch it. So I feel it. like yes. I get, okay. like, that's how I feel about Sword in the Stone. Do you, you guys know I own it. Uh, well, like, I'm going to take it. Because okay. I think I need to rewatch it, and I think I might like it. Now. I was thinking that this week, too, because I was like, I was looking through all my DVDs, and mm-hmm. I was like, oh, Sword in the Stone. And remember, we kind of bashed on it in we our did, episode. and I yes. actually think it's probably pretty good. And I was trying to defend it, I remember, but you guys were bringing up a lot of good points during that episode. And you're like, oh, man, I like and, this and, movie. <laughs> and I guess we should give this, like, I, I don't even know what you call it, like a warning again that we watch these with a very critical eye. Oh, for sure. So if we're bashing on them, um, don't hate us. Well, and it's funny because it's that- you're a critic. Well, that particular episode, we got so much like we just got we so got much hate feed- mail. Well, not, kinda, not legit, but it was it mail. was a lot of feedback because people of were like, what you're, we thought. "You're ignorant <laughs> about the music." We're like, "Oh, yeah, we are," but it's fine. Yeah, I mean, so just so just know that this is definitely our opinions. Yeah, it's hey, not you know what, but I like Pinocchio now. So you like Pinocchio? Pinocchio. So, you know what's really funny about this? I was thinking about this at 3 a.m. this morning because this is what I think about at 3 a.m. Okay. This movie has, like, if you break it down, like, five scenes. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's really, it, it's, it's really bare bones. Easy to follow. Um, yes. And not a ton. Ha- it all takes place over, like, two days, maybe. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Something yeah. Something like that. And I told Andre that this is your classic fable, right? Like, it's a, it's a fairy tale, yes, yes, but it's a classic fable. Um, It was. And I went to Europe, we went to Italy, and there was lots of Pinocchio dolls everywhere because that's where the story of Pinocchio originated from. So people in Italy like very much respect Pinocchio and the story of Pinocchio. And I almost think they probably still tell their young children like by word of mouth the story of Pinocchio. You know, so it's very much like that classic fable where here's a clear cut black and white lesson, right? Yeah. And yeah. multiple lessons throughout this movie. Which usually I don't like that fable type of story so much, but in this situation, I- well, I think it worked because they it was in such kind of an outlandish way, yeah. like mm-hmm. him being this like literal piece of wood walking around. It made it it made it okay that it was super lessony, yeah, um, because yes. he didn't know and he literally knew no better like he exactly yeah if he was like a normal kid i would have been like oh my god stop apparently they were they were like plotting out the story right and um it was before they introduced jiminy cricket at all 
So Pinocchio was just kind of like a bad kid. Like oh, he would God. just go around and do bad stuff. <laughs> and then somebody would come in and tell him, hey, Pinocchio, you're not supposed to be doing that. <laughs> um, but I'll be real. But he wasn't like a nice guy. That yeah. would have made me hurl. Like, right. I would have hated yeah. that. Exactly. And Walt hated it. So he was like, we got to do something Yeah, different. and if there's one thing Walt was good at, it was turning a classic fairy tour fairy tale story around yeah. to make yeah. it Disney-fied, quote-unquote, as we like to call them. But I still can't get over was, like, a live wood. I think there was a lot of a lot of moments in this movie where I needed to bend my disbelief. And oh, I, really? <laughs> And I couldn't quite at times. first. I was like, wait, so he's a walking puppet. And now a fox is like, wow, a walking puppet. I'm like, a little weird. That's so this is how I look at the movie. Seriously, I, I look at it like Geppetto's shop. And within that, Geppetto wants, is in love with his latest creation. Mm-hmm. He, he asks on the, the wishing star or the what? He, 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 wishing star. he wishes wishing on star. Evangeline. And yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, my belly, 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 So, so, and he gets his puppet, becomes a boy. That that's like scene one. Scene two is almost like the entirety of like Honest John yeah, trying to manipulate him with yeah. Tromboli, and then Tromboli. Okay, he gets taken. He go. He attempts multiple times to get back to dad. Yeah, doesn't happen. Right, it's not there. And then he ends up going to Pleasure Island, and then the whale. Literally, yeah. like that's, that's the it. entirety. And of if this you movie. if you ride the ride at Disneyland, it's literally exactly the same. You know where so he good. never goes like it takes you. to school. Homie does not never make it. Never <laughs> goes. Stay just in school, school kids. <laughs> if you're listening, yeah. just go to school. Was it get eaten by a whale? So you want to know my number one problem? With Geppetto. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> let's, let's do it. Because I like Geppetto. Is it the clocks? <laughs> the we'll, in, we'll get to the clock. Innumerable he's amounts obvious, of clocks? He's obviously a really bad clockmaker because they're not all chiming at the same time, bra. You need to get this Some of them were at like double tempo. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And some of them mm-hmm. were like, he was like, tick tock, tick tock. And some of them were like, <laughs> <laughs> like you dude get it together right <laughs> oh god i was having a major issue i was like starting to do like the shakes and stuff anywho <laughs> season up <laughs> yeah okay seriously though i get why you would be like oh i want a boy mm-hmm. but like why would the fairy give this man a boy? He is literally like 95. A little up there. He is old as you know what, and he yeah. does not need a kid. And then the first thing he does when he gets that kid is like, you know what? Go to school. Free child care. <laughs> hey, peace out. Peace out. <laughs> You've been alive for one day. Not even one day. Like I like six Geppetto. hours. I like Geppetto. He is way too old. To be dealing with this wooden child. He doesn't know how to deal with kids. Listen, he's got a cat, okay? He's got a fish. What he doesn't have is a son to not be at home all the time. <laughs> he's Go to school. Get a boy to get him out of the house. I wish I could have a baby and then just send it off to school. <laughs> Olivia's on the floor in front of me right now. Girl, go to school. Go to school, She Olivia. said no. <laughs> Take your book <laughs> and your cricket. And your apple. Okay, the, my only gripe with Geppetto is that, like, I get that this was set in like different kind of times, but he just like didn't check in on Pinocchio. So he's sitting down for dinner and he's like, where did he go? He didn't come back. And I'm like, well, he old. were you supposed to pick him up from school? Like, I don't know. That that was my one right? thing. Maybe you should walk and then it your was puppet sad. to school. It was just, more, it was walk your puppet. He's literally never been out street. of your house, dude. He's never, I don't even know how he knows how to walk, but he you, never walked out of the house and you just let him go. You painted his mouth on this morning. <laughs> he doesn't know anything, dude. Goodness gracious. And then at 10 o'clock at night, <laughs> you're eating dinner, which is a bad time for digestion. Yeah. Okay, Grandpa. Eat earlier than Well, sundown. he was waiting and then I felt bad because he, he wouldn't let his cat eat the fish could take. Because I don't know, I don't know why you feed a fish cake, but he does. <laughs> All I'm saying is Figaro, no. Figaro, Figaro is so cute. Figaro's cool. Figaro got a little bed. He so did. He, he had use. a little bed, which reminded me of like the little beds from Snow White. Like they totally stole like yeah. that same concept. Oh. You know what I mean? It was so funny. But they're they're getting ready for bed. Figaro's getting all cuddled up in his under his covers or whatever. Geppetto's getting into his normal size bed, and he's like, "Oh, Figaro, 
I forgot to, to open the window. And Figaro goes like, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to get up and open a window for you right now? He's you grown man. Down. Uh. I immediately looked at my dog and was like, why don't you do that? <laughs> <laughs> get it together, yeah, bro. Open, open the window. Open the window, Dougie. Open the window. It, it was, uh, I, I like Figaro too. He And he's so upset when he can't eat his fish at dinner because Petto says to wait. And he's like, come on. <laughs> I'm not lost. I stayed home. Let me eat. Ridiculous. Anyway, so uh, Pinocchio. I've been here for years and I know when to come home. I know what dinner time is. That's hilarious. Hey, you don't even need him. So, so I want to talk about um, the clocks. So when we're in Geppetto's workshop, he's a wood maker and he makes wooden clocks, which well, I guess he decided to make a wooden puppet one day because he was probably over clocks. Like you said, he probably wasn't making any money off those clocks. But let's talk about the different kinds of clocks. Because that's what I don't remember as a kid. He's very creative. Was that there was a clock of an old lady spanking a baby. They are creative and hilarious all at the same time. Uh, uh, what would you say? A turkey gets There's his head one where off. the turkey is just like shooting his little gobbledy neck out of the thing. Yeah, and, and then there's like a, a dude there's trying axe. to shoot a bird in a tree. <laughs> and I was like, what's going uh, on with these clocks? Sadistic little clocks. Weird. But Emily I like liked it. Emily liked it. I like him. He, he reminds me of... Um, Stew Pickles from the Rugrats, like uh, Tommy Pickles' dad, and he makes a bunch of crazy toys like in his basement that never sell. Oh, okay. <laughs> These clocks are the ones that went on to drive Hook crazy later on. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, most likely. Most right. There's definitely likely. an alligator clock in there somewhere. Yeah, that's very true. Hey, you know what? Okay, so Pinocchio meets Honest John and decides he wants to be an act. And already... We, we talked a little bit about how we didn't realize Jiminy Cricket was like a homeless cricket. And then he basically swindled himself into being his conscious. But he only wanted to be the conscious if he was going to get an 18 karat gold medal at the end. That's the sign number one that Jiminy was a little bit, a little bit crazy. Mm -hmm. Also, Jiminy is also crazy because I'm pretty sure he thinks all of the clock people are real. Oh, yeah. He like dances with them and he definitely is trying to hit on all the lady clocks. He is trying to hit on anything that his lady resembles, okay? That's my problem yeah. with Jiminy. Yeah, he's like, a cricket, first of all. That's kind of weird. <laughs> Listen, you guys, you guys don't understand Jiminy's backstory, okay? He's been on the streets a long time, right? This is the first oh my female God. interaction he's had <laughs> in his house. He comes in, he puts his hand on like, on like, a, on like a lady's like buttress or whatever, and he, <laughs> and he looks, he says, oh, oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> that was I laughed. Well, out loud every for that every one. time he was making googly eyes at a lady, I literally thought it was the most hilarious it was thing so ever. Funny, like it was hilarious. Uh, I just don't remember that Jiminy Cricket was. <laughs> yeah. He was he was looking at the fairy. He was looking dog, at yeah. The, the he fairy. was looking at the clock wow. uh, or the uh, when they was the puppets when they were like the actor puppets. The he, puppet. He was like he like pulls out his glasses. <laughs> He's like wow. Oh, that's so ridiculous! But these. I thought it was hilarious. So, anyways, that's again a time period thing I have to get over. Yeah. Like it wasn't cool, but it was funny. But it's not supposed. Oh, to Oh yeah, be that right. was you totally I mean? like that's a time period thing for mm -hmm. sure. Um. Another strike is Pinocchio's on his way to school and Jiminy Cricket was still asleep, not even waking up, late to be in the conscious. Day one, he's already messing up, right? And then, you know mm -hmm. what happens? Of course, freaking Pinocchio wants to go be an actor because who doesn't want to go be an actor? I want to be an actor. Yeah. This sounds great. I did the deed. And Jiminy, <laughs> Jiminy the Cricket. Laugh for me. <laughs> like, I remember, like, when Jim, uh, Jiminy finally catches up to Pinocchio and Pinocchio's like, I'm going to be an actor. And Jiminy's like, No, you're not. You're going to tell him. I'm so sorry, but I have to go to school. <laughs> Pinocchio's like, bye, Jiminy. <laughs> like, like, Jiminy Cricket's not a good conscience because he's not explaining no. the reasons why, the rationale, like all of this stuff. And first of all, Pinocchio's only a day old. Well, right. let's talk about the Blue Fairy. She'd be giving out these really important roles to people who have no training. Blue Fairy, why did you pick? Blue I mean, he, he, just because he happened to be there, he couldn't have gone outside, found any no, other it cricket. Was because he had to the cat would have done a better job, okay? <laughs> I know. The Blue Fairy's trying to tell Pinocchio what a conscience is, and Jiminy's like, this is a conscience. He's just buttoning in from the beginning. Yeah. Jiminy. He just wanted to butt in on that Blue Fairy. Let's be real. I mean, he yeah, butted in too. on Geppetto's house as well. Like, he came he in was like, and he was like, oh, look at oh, the house. Nobody's here. Uh, I'll just make myself at home. <laughs> He's trying to claim squatter's <laughs> rights on Geppetto's house. It's nuts. <laughs> I really like, you know, it's so funny. But he is, he's ridiculous, right? So, of course, He's going to go be an actor, an actor's life for me. 
And this is the scene that I vividly remember as a kid. It's Pinocchio singing, I got no strings to hold me down. And he falls down. It's a jam. And then the whole rest of it, like, do, 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 do. <laughs> like, all of that. I hardcore remember all of that as a kid. I am going to say I hardcore do not remember really? any of the the marionette part. Oh, I have oh, that scene, right. like, memorized. Like, I remember him singing that little tiny 15-second excerpt. You didn't remember, like, all the different types of marionettes? No. You mean all the girls doing girl things, talking about how they're going to be with their boyfriend, well, and but then how the, they're going to the be Russian with Pinocchio? And then the Russian ones at the end who are, like, spinning, like, hey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You don't remember any of that? No. Oh, I vividly remember that. But I, I remember... will tell you. Hold on. I need to pause you mm-hmm. because this is Luis's excerpt for the day. Okay. He goes, um... This song is creepy. And I said, Luis, this song is not creepy. And he's like, <laughs> it is creepy because Ultron yep. sang this song yes. in uh, Age of Ultron, exactly. the Marvel movie. And I was like, you the, actually, you know, you're right. Yeah, it's definitely no a Pinocchio strings. metaphor in so Age of Ultron. Maybe, yeah. And yeah. one of the trailers has that song playing it for, for okay well that's Ultron. creepy it's just like if you make i know you i walked with you once upon a dream too creepy lana del rey uh, no. i really appreciate that you just use the entire like script okay first off ew okay ew why were you doing what? that face i wish you guys could have seen it i'm so sorry uh, no. <laughs> trying to be John Lennon, be Lana Del Rey. Okay, uh, stop. <laughs> yeah, you can't be John Lennon being Lana Del Rey when I am clearly always Owen Wilson as Shakira. Don't copy me. Oh, mm-hmm. you need to me. pull it back, Andre. You need to pull it back hard. Listen. Anyways, okay, Luis isn't wrong about that, but in this movie, it's not creepy. No, it's not creepy no. whatsoever. It's a cute little song. Yeah, it's a cute little song, and, it, and it's very clever of Stromboli to be like, "You're my main act." This is gonna yeah. be great. I, I've been I, dealing with these string puppets this whole time. I like literally an idiot. do marionettes for a living, and this is gold. <laughs> I also didn't realize how eccentric Stromboli was. I kind of tuned him out because he's very like creepy looking. Right? Like that's the point. He's supposed to be a villain. Yeah. But he keeps like doing this dance with his butt and stuff, and I was like, "Calm down, Stromboli. <laughs> like I don't need to see." Stromboli this. is a really bad boss. <laughs> a really yeah. bad first boss to have. <laughs> he likes money, money, he's, money, money. He's counting his money right in front of Penelope. He's like, 100, 200, 300, All of this money for me and not you. It's amazing. This is awesome." And then Penelope is like, "Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna come back tomorrow." And Stromboli is like. <laughs> nah, bro, you staying right you're here. You're never leaving. <laughs> and the thing, the thing is, okay, and I, I get the point of the lesson for this one. You're supposed to go to school and not go be an actor. Okay, whatever. Fine, I get it. Stay but in like, school. Pinocchio really didn't do anything that bad. Okay, he's never been to school before, so he doesn't really understand why it's important. Right. He keeps asking why to Geppetto, and Geppetto's like, because. Yeah. Okay. Why? So first of all. Why? He he he's like a newborn. He's an awful parent. He's like a newborn <laughs> child, right? Like he doesn't know why he has to go to school. He just is told to do it and he goes. Mm-hmm. When these other people are like, You're gonna be a famous actor, and he's like, Okay, sure. Like, why Sweet. not? And yeah. then he does really, really good. And he's even like, I'm gonna go home and come back tomorrow. Like he wasn't in doing anything that bad, and then Stromboli just had to put him in a cage. Right. It's rude. Stromboli had been like, Okay, yeah, cool. See you tomorrow. Then <laughs> Well, I mean Geppetto probably still would have been like, You have to I guess. He could have homeschooled him. You think? He's a puppet. He doesn't really need to go to school, right? I mean. Uh, free child care. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Point is to go to school. Um, but I'll be honest, like with the Stromboli thing, I think it just grossed me out so much kid and or every subsequent time that I've watched this movie that I just kind of let him like flutter on out of my memories. Because like you said, Michelle, he's creepy and he's a bad guy. And I really like don't even want to think about him because he's gross. Like. Like, I feel like if we saw him in a live action role, like. Oh, yeah. I think they are supposed to do it. No, no more. No more. No more. So, over live action, we're not even going to get into this conversation. Well, so, <laughs> moving on. Um, so, yeah, the, 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 when Nokia's locked up in Stromboli's cage, um, Jiminy Cricket comes to visit. He finally finds him. Like, oh, my job. <laughs> I guess I'll get to it. Uh, Look at my face. You can't. It's a podcast. I have a face on. Yeah, because he just left. He was like, oh, yes doing okay yeah he'll be fine that He's is an not actor how now. conscience works you yeah dip why why would why would an actor want a conscience um but <laughs> so he's he's in the cage jiminy cricket comes he's like oh you're locked in a cage this doesn't look good i guess i'll try to get you out of here he tries to pick the lock by going in 
But he's like, oh, this must be an old model or something like that. He, I guess he's just not great at picking a wedge. I mean, really. he's not great at a lot of things. So he's trying. Then, out of the, the blue, comes <laughs> the blue fairy. She, she makes a reappearance. Starts asking Pinocchio questions. <laughs> Why are you here? Like Pinocchio. It's a liar face. Uh yeah, so it's when, funny because I thought he lied much more in this movie. He literally only did like the one nose scene. lying thing once in this movie. Yeah, I thought it was. I don't know. That I just like assumed it was right? a thing. Yeah. yeah, that was like the main story. But I guess we're we're thinking more correct than than Pinocchio. That's what they focus on. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. That's I love Shrek true. so much. <laughs> um, but yeah, so he starts lying. And with every lie, his nose gets bigger and bigger. And it starts, like, growing, like, branches. And stuff yeah, like there's, like, a bird point, on it. Yeah, there's a whole nest and stuff. That, that, that kind of um, surprised me. I didn't remember that nose grew into a tree. Like, if he just kept lying, would he have just turned to a full An oak, yes. tree? Or Probably. a pine. <laughs> I think in one version of the story, I don't know if it's, like, one version of the story, Pinocchio is made from tree, that big old map. I just thought it was funny that, like, he created from his lying a bird with a nest. Like, that's extra creepy. Is that bird made out of wood? Yeah. Is it real? Is he real? There's a lot of things in this movie. Like I said, I was cool. The yeah. spend it. But she literally, like, pretty much snaps her fingers and gets out of that. Like, nice. Nice girl, where have you been? Yeah, go save all the other kids. We're gonna talk about in a second. Oh my like, goodness, like get some of this crazy stuff together. Yeah, what's she doing when she's just hanging out in the star? Nothing. Just oh, hanging out with Ray. <laughs> she's just chilling, doing doing fine. <laughs> so then Try. they're trying to get home again. Again. And Jiminy loses Pinocchio again. again. He's like, let's race. We're racing. I'm gone. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm not going to look back at all. <laughs> Jesus. And Honest John finds him again. again. And takes after... him to. Yeah. It's after that smoking donuts where they meet some other creepy dude who's like. And this, I think, is Disgusting. why I really don't. Like, if you think of this movie as a whole, there is literally no, like. I mean, yes, Geppetto's supposed to be a good so I don't want to take that. And yes, Jiminy's supposed to be a good person. But, mm-hmm. like, all the extraneous people in this movie are, terrible. are awful yeah, all human beings. They're literally taking children. Like, fattening them up. Like, it's the... Like it's the yeah. Um, what's that story where they go... With Hansel houses? and Gretel? Yes, Gretel, where the house is made up. Uh, go ahead. Have fun. As most as most can. fables are like so that, right? Like true. for everyone to go and he just wants to make money and like yeah. send off these ugly yeah. dunk kids. He's selling them Ooh. to like the salt mines and the it, circus it, it, and whatever else but, you need donkeys for. Okay, I want you to talk about the Pleasure Island scene because every time we go on the ride, when we get to Pleasure Island, Andre's like, yeah, yeah, oh, <laughs> drinking, fighting, yeah, yeah. Like he's always so excited that we're on Pleasure Island in the ride. And I'm like, calm down, sir. Yeah, just... Like he literally will pump his fist in the air and be like, smoking, drinking, yeah, fighting, yeah, candy, woo, woo. This and is... I'm always glad that like nobody else on the rides around you because I'm like, shut up. This is, this is putting me in a bad light. Uh, <laughs> well, he does it every time, and I love it. But... I just like to go in there and pretend I'm eight and just have, like, <laughs> little boy fun. Like, oh, okay, we're getting the party started now. <laughs> I'm at a circus. There's a merry-go-round. There's cigars. <laughs> there's, yeah. there's you know beers. what part I didn't quickly. remember <laughs> was that they had model homes that you could go in <laughs> and, destroy. and destroy. I was like, this it seems so cathartic. That would like, be so much fun. Like, it's a what stress relief the, tool. So cathartic. <laughs> but you know, it's funny because people actually like think that that is like emotionally, you know, helpful. <laughs> healthy. It's so, not healthy. Yes. <laughs> like, um, no, I don't think so. It's Let's pretty, go bop someone on the nose. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Like, I think in the ride, there's like the rough house or whatever. And it's basically just like those smoke clouds of like fighting boys <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> together. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, but yeah, the, the Pleasure Island just looks um, like a grand old time. 
But oh, then man. again, you have to think this is supposed to be for all boys. They're literally getting specific kids who are out when they're not supposed to be, yeah. when they're getting into trouble, mm-hmm. who would be into that sort of thing, I'm assuming. Right. Yeah. Smoking and drinking and fighting. And drinking and fighting. Vandalizing. Destroying houses. Okay. <laughs> riding some rides. And then they turn it. Yeah. They get, so they get I want to know. How do they donkey spy? Is it like in the cigars so, in the dream? No. So Andre explained to me, he said, because they're acting like jackasses, that they. The, that's the, that's because the behavior. Of the, way that they're acting. the behavior that Pleasure Island promotes is like what what you eventually will become by by okay. enjoying all of these. You things. are what you eat. That, yeah, basically. Yes, exactly. Okay. Because mm-hmm. yeah. I said that too. I was like, is it like I thought it was like in the alcohol or something. It's like when your mom tells you like, hey, I don't want you hanging out with that kid. He's a bad. Mm-hmm. Because if you keep hanging out with that kid, you're gonna be like that kid, mm-hmm. and then I'm gonna hate you. Yeah. <laughs> My mom told me there's this kid named Andre, and I don't want you to hang out with him because you're gonna end up just like him. He's too fun and laughable and, and too nerdy. And, and here we are. Handsome. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to be handsome, Emily. I don't want it. And here we are, years later. Too Everyone's affable. handsome. But do, you think, and do you think that's why Pinocchio, <laughs> Pinocchio only turned into a partial song? I could be. He didn't well, yeah. go all the way. He couldn't hit that cigar like he was supposed to. Uh, yeah. He tried. He got all kinds of things. He got very though. sick. <laughs> Poor guy. That is one thing. Like, aside from the, the donut smoke ring, I, this movie didn't want to make me smoke. Like, it didn't no. fun, right? So I guess they got that one. Yeah. Like, but I don't know how much longer after this movie took before Disney S company policy. Well, it was more it's, normal. Kind of stuff back then. Yeah, know? I know, but eventually it got to a point where no one at Disney, they didn't want to promote that at all. That was, right. At this time, in yeah. you still didn't want kids. Exactly. Yeah. Hmm. It's interesting, but the whole the whole idea. I, okay, so I'm cool. <laughs> I'm cool with the idea of Pleasure Island in the in the context of this story because it makes sense. Like it's all of the temptations that Jiminy had warned him about, like yeah. all in one. But the next part of the story is where I like I like lose my not respect for the movie, but I lose my like wh- wh- what? Right. Like what? It gets real weird. What's the point of this last part? So. Pretty much he finds out that everyone's turning into jackasses, so he, like, runs off, like, a cliff and, like, jumps into the ocean, swims back to, like, the Italian mainland, I guess. Yeah. And he's like, I'm going home, I'm going home, I'm going home. And once he gets there, he gets, like, a mysterious note from the Blue Fairy, I'm going to assume, like, well, out of the sky. It was weird. I, I couldn't tell if it was, like, the Blue Fairy or if Geppetto from inside of Monstro was, I got to <laughs> like, I gotta send him a message. Oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> well, so he gets a note saying that Geppetto was swallowed by a whale. A whale. He's at okay. the bottom of the ocean. But he's alive. In, in context, that sounds really weird. Like, why were you swallowed by... Why? Oh, but, so, how, anywho. How'd you get into that situation? Right? That's, and I, I didn't remember it so we literally saw it. Like, oh, it makes more sense now, but yeah. it, it didn't in the moment. So, the rest of the movie is spent with Pinocchio and what? yeah, and Jiminy it's saving his incredible. dad from a whale, like it's definitely the weird part of the movie. That's like what, yes, yeah. Yeah. sure. Right? But this is like this is Pinocchio's little like redemption. Yeah, the hero fight Moby Dick. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And um, Mastro, by the way, a very. Oh he yeah, he's so terrifying. creepy. Yeah. He's like a like a like a blue whale or something like that. He's like a gigantor. Yeah. But it has like teeth. He's got like it's like an orca. To a whale. That is It's a mythical whale, um called Monstro. <laughs> <laughs> Thank uh, you for that. Just so you know. <laughs> what what Andre said is that basically Pinocchio has a tail, right? He has a rock. Now He, well, he, like, sinks to get to the bottom of the ocean. Yeah. And I then, thought this was going to be a problem. Like, most of the time when I see people tied to rocks jumping into the ocean, they, they're not coming back up. But so they're not jumping in. They're getting he, thrown in. You true. know what I mean? Pinocchio, he's down there, and he's talking and breathing. He's having a grand time at the bottom of the Yeah, ocean. apparently crickets don't have a problem yeah. chirping at the bottom.
bottom of the ocean, and neither does a wooden boy. Yeah, so they're, they're good to go yeah. down there. Um, but eventually they make it to Monstro, who is at the bottom of the ocean. They make their way into his mouth. Hungry. And the tuna is come swimming in. Geppetto is very excited for the tuna, because he, I don't know. Like, I don't know what it sounds like it was a long time. Yeah. Like they've been quote unquote shipwrecked. They got shipwrecked and he's been down there for a while and now they need food. But I'm pretty sure it's only been like, like a, day. a day. But, you know, he's struggling he's down old. there. I, I Maybe find more shit right yeah. down. His blood <laughs> sugar is low. You know, he needs some of that tuna. This could have been two years in that. <laughs> it's a different dimension inside of Montreal. He's completely set up down there, though. He's like, he's, he's like. Got He's got a fishing pole, stuff like that. He's like, we gotta kiss this, otherwise we're not gonna make it through the winter. <laughs> I don't know what it's so is. funny. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, the fish are coming in. He's very excited about them. Then Pinocchio comes in, and they decide they gotta get out of there. So Pinocchio, he he comes in clutch. He has an idea. He's like, let's smoke him out. <laughs> we gotta make him sleep, so we'll get out of here. So he starts setting a fire. Uh. Which, inside a whale. Inside a whale, which I personally think is kind of uh, jackass behavior, but I guess he was doing it for a right reason. <laughs> he's, he's, he's Killed the a, whale, yeah. saved my dad. Yeah, setting a fire to, to escape. Yeah, Monstro's supposed to get back. Yeah, so, uh, so it works. Uh, Monstro starts to think, and they make their way out on a raft. Um, but then Monstro is upset that they set a fire inside his belly. Yeah, uh, literally. And <laughs> he goes after them. It's like heartburn. Another level. Oh, like, ah, what did I eat? Goodness gracious! Ah, that little Ridiculous. puppet maker dude. I hate him. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna eat him again. <laughs> so he goes after him, and then um, the raft gets destroyed. Cleo and Figaro are out for the count. I don't see them for a while. I'm really uh, scared for their lives. But as <laughs> as they shipwreck just fine. Yeah, <laughs> Pinocchio saves Geppetto and brings him into like a cave. Cleo and Figaro, they're right there. They're all right. They're like, hey, look. Cleo's bowl, glass bowl is perfectly intact after a Gold huge whale attack. She still has her nice, clean water and mm-hmm. none of that salt water in yeah. there. Hashtag gold. <laughs> and then also Monstro just, like, runs into the rock. I mean, yeah. No. To the bottom of the ocean. He had fire in his belly. I don't know. Revenge. Pinocchio 2, Monstro's Revenge. <laughs> better movie. <laughs> um, oh, God. So, Geppetto uh, washes up on shore. Pinocchio's nowhere to be found. Okay. Pinocchio! Stop! He finds, oh, he finds, Pinocchio. He finds Pinocchio's lifeless body just face down in a puddle. <laughs> <laughs> he takes it back home. Pinocchio's laid out on a bed. Geppetto's praying. <laughs> You're like, Pinocchio, I only knew you for 15 hours. And for most of it, you were in a cage or whatever, but I, and then, you went from Italian to like pirate, Pinocchio. <laughs> but then the blue fairy's magic starts working, Pinocchio, oh, real boy. he comes back to life as a real and helpful and flesh and blood person, great. and uh, I'm a real boy, I'm a real boy. Can't do that cool thing. Like, I'm with alive his anymore. <laughs> yeah. Damn, Michelle, you thought really well. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. He can't spin his whole neck around. He's a creepy. Or, uh, he's real. His nose no longer grows. Are you you can call CPS through? now. He's a real yeah. boy. Now you really have to go to school. This is no joke. No more smoking. <laughs> You're alive. And then Jiminy Cricket got his medal. Yeah, Jiminy Cricket. He, what? I don't know. Oh it happened. It was an 18 karat gold, like. Yeah, they they made sure he, he knew. Can't hold no more. This is real. I feel like he's gonna take that down to the pawn shop and be like, "Here's your conscience." Can it be 18 karat gold if it's microscopic? Like this has to fit on the chest of a cricket. It is so. This is small. a monstro cricket. Okay, <laughs> we already talked about the fact that he's like I guess he's not a real big. cricket. But like five. Something like that. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, when, that, when you wish upon a star, I'm I'm true. True. I like that. Stop it. <laughs> Stop, John, Lana, okay? So, overall, this movie is foolish, right? Yeah. And, but I'm pretty sure that originally when it came out, didn't it lose the moolah? Like, mm-hmm. I think I read that somewhere.
somewhere that like it came out and it was not making money at first. It obviously see. did because, because it's been out. Yeah, this was ever. a big hit um, from its total domestic gross, but also with, oh yes, the um, the multiplane camera, which is very cool. Uh, we we went and saw it when we were at the Disney's. It's a it's a huge and the rotoscoping. Yes, it's a huge like camera rig system where you slide in like these plate glass backgrounds, at, like in multiple layers, and then they get a camera and they shoot through the layers so that it's like zooming in on on a scene. So you see it in this movie, like on like a yeah, well, all, like the village. You so you see, like all the characters running around and doing stuff, but it's just zooming in the entire time. And so that's an amazing amazing piece of engineering that they had to do to get this uh, get this shot for, mm-hmm. for an animated movie. But it's really it's really cool. Um so this movie had a budget of a million dollars. Even nineteen forty, that's a lot of money. That's that's a lot, yeah. Three. Um but it ended up making eighty four million dollars. So it's it's domestic total gross at the time was thirty eight million. So but it still made money. Yeah, it definitely made money. So I don't know where I read that then. Yeah, I'm not exactly. But yeah, it's domestic lifetime gross is eighty four. And uh, like I said, I like this movie more than Snow White, but Snow White's like domestic lifetime gross four. Oh well, yeah, because it's the OG. The OG and they keep it really. Oh, see, I did. Fi- I just found the thing that I read yeah. it on, and I it literally just said that they lost. Maybe they didn't make helpful. as much money as they had. It says initially, Pinocchio was not a box office success. The box office returns to the film's initial release were both below Snow White's precedent and below studio expectations hey. of the film's two point two million dollar cost. Um, Disney only recouped a million dollars by late nineteen forty. The studio reports its final original box office take during the and point. Yeah, so there you go. There you go. So between three. Really. Well, here's a couple of fun facts that I found. Uh, Figaro the cat was Walt's favorite character. So he loved the fact that he was, you know, like rambunctious and funny and had like a really big character. Um, they originally Figaro was be a companion to Nikki. Um, replacing her cocker spaniel that she has later on, but oh, Minnie Mouse. Yes, but they decided to uh, keep him in Pinocchio. Mouse. I, I don't. Pet. I don't it get it. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah. I don't. Know. I don't know about that. Christian Rob Boff was the voice and inspiration. So apparently, like when Geppetto was being drawn out, he didn't really have like a face yet. Like, mm-hmm. they knew what they wanted him to do, but they didn't know what he was going to look like. But then when they added on the voice actor, they were like, we're just going to have him look like we're you, old man. Exactly like you. Boom! So, I saw that picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Good ball. One of the coolest you know. things that we learned about this film is that the cuckoo clock scenes and all of um, all of the different things you see in Geppetto's shops were actually made and created and put in the um, which is Funny, but it's also like, it's like they all probably done. They had to make them all like work for the anime. Yeah, crazy. animation was crazy back. On the last Pinocchio won two Academy, so I think cool. Um, it has an Oscar for best score and best song. Um, for when you wish on. A- yeah, I mean that that song is definitely like a everywhere class. Hey, like it's, it's a Disney class. Yeah, well, yeah, but I mean, I feel like everyone in America knows that song. For sure. Mm-hmm. Like, you might not know all the words, but, like, you heard it and you know, like... Exactly. And I bet, I bet Italy. Right. Uh, <laughs> and, and they use it a lot in the Disney park. Yeah. Uh, Just the, I mean... Well, and wasn't it the original song? It, it's the song it's with the, song. the castle opening. Yeah, the... the, the <laughs> when Tink goes over the castle, the Tinky Star goes over the movie castle. opening. It's when yes. you wish upon a star, yes. yeah. Which is how he's telling every kid on top of Adeline's favorite song when she like sits down on the couch and she hears like, <laughs> she's like it's <laughs> time. Yeah, yes, Daddy, movie. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god. So great. Well, let's, let's rate this. Um, I'm gonna give it a seven point five. That's the wrong song, but it's a solid C. Um, it's not like a movie that I'm like, well, I'm gonna watch it again. You know what I mean? Yeah. But from from the perspective, I I'm not gonna watch it again. So seven point five. Seven point five. Like it was a good movie. It's a solid movie. I like it. I like the music. Um, it's just not one of those movies that I'm going to go back to a whole bunch, mm-hmm. you know? But, I mean, compared to when I was bashing on it, do I like it? Yes. Do I respect it? Yes. Is it good? Yes. Seven points. Like, if I saw the characters in the park, I'd be like, ooh! Right, versus, yeah. like... Yeah, yeah yes, exactly. I, I think, uh, actually, I saw a lot of... And Geppetto was in the park yesterday, and I was like, I've actually seen Geppetto in the park, and really? I was like, yeah. Ah! It's, it's always like, cool. who's the old guy? It's always cool <laughs> yeah, when you see, like, cool. those different of your yeah. characters. That you know. <laughs> Never even thought about being <laughs> Pinocchio. Oh, like, okay. what the, like, I think I've seen Pinocchio. Inside out. Inside out. <laughs> Boom. Inside out. 
Uh, so get ready to uh, feel your feelings and uh, be mad at sadness like I'm going to be. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Luis said don't get me started with that one. Mm-hmm. So we yeah. will have fun, as you can so tell. I'm excited. You're excited. We're all excited. Um, tune in for Inside Out Goodness. Uh, if you want to keep up with us in the meantime, you can follow us on social media. We are at The Walt Vault Pod on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, check us out there. Send us a message on all of those social media platforms. Um, you can help us out by subscribing on whatever podcast platform you're on. We're on literally everything uh, now. Spotify, YouTube, iTunes, Anchor. We're on all of it. So Your check- tunes, my tunes, iTunes. Yeah. Let's do it. Check us out. You can also go to patreon.com slash the Walt Vault. Sign up to be a member there, and you'll get access to our after show, A Crack in the Vault. And that, that really helps us out. That, 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 that keeps the lights on. So... Uh, to help us out, go, go to Patreon, sign up. It only costs a dollar. It's, it's super cheap. Check us out there. I um, think that's it for now. Oh, yes. send me an email to contact us yes. at the <laughs> I almost forgot to tell you. Good luck. Send me them emails. Shout out to my boy Kevin. Thanks for keeping sending them in. Um, <laughs> all right, you guys, that's it for now. Uh, we will see you next time. Addy, say bye. <laughs> the vault is now closed.